Hello, and welcome to the Eve Echo Chamber. Today, a video on autopilot, align time, and you. Autopilot in Eve Online and Eve Echoes. If you have been watching my videos, if you're not new to the channel, you know that I've been suggesting that you stick to frigates and destroyers from the very beginning. And this video about align time will show you why I've been advising you to do that. For the other 85% of you, why don't you like, subscribe, maybe you'll learn something. Let's get started. So if this looks unfamiliar, that's because this is EVE Online, the PC version. And I'm using this to show you the calculations because they currently have this information in-game. Whereas for EVE Echoes, we're going to have to do a little bit of math. So when I open up this screen in the fitting window, and I go down to Navigation, one of these numbers is for align time. This is how long it takes us, as soon as we arrive in a new system, to align to and begin warp to the next gate when we are autopiloting in EVE Echoes, or when we are manually piloting in EVE Online. Now, common wisdom in EVE Online says that if this number is 2 seconds or below, we should be able to pilot safely, as long as there are no bubbles or smart bombs. Nobody should be able to lock us and then warp scramble us faster than we can warp through. We should be untargetable. For those of you who have only autopiloted before, if we are not autopiloting, if we jump through a gate, we arrive on the far end cloaked, and we have some time to look around to decide what we're going to do, and our ship will remain cloaked until we give it a command. Now the align time comes into play because once you select an object and you click warp to, the timer begins and the amount of time it takes you to enter warp where you are safe is the align time. There are low slot modules and rigs that can improve our align time. You see I'm equipping some now. I'm equipping inertial stabilizers and a nanofiber internal structure in my low slots. And for the rigs, I'm using polycarbon engine housings and low friction nozzle joints. As a disclaimer, not every ship can get an align time of two seconds, nor should every ship be able to get an align time of two seconds. If you came to this video hoping I would show you how to get your mammoth industrial hauler to be able to autopilot perfectly safe, you are out of your mind. There is no reason that ship should ever be perfectly safe. Anyways, allow me to demonstrate. You can see my autopilot route in the top left, and you'll notice a symbol that we don't have in EVE Echoes, that red triangle symbol. This is because the system of Niarja, which historically has been a high sec system, was just recently turned into null sec by an in-game event in EVE Online having to do with the Triglavians. Ever since this happened, that system has been constantly camped by players who want to kill other players. So I know for a fact that when I try to go through that system, someone will try to tackle me, and it will be a perfect opportunity to show you whether or not this works. I'm arriving on the gate shortly, and because I recorded this before, I know there is a stiletto that is an interceptor on the other side of the gate waiting to tackle me. I have now jumped, and I am doing what is called holding cloak. I'm not moving or doing anything until I look around. You see all of those wrecks? Yeah, a lot of players have died here. I change back to my other overview tab that only shows things that I can warp to, so I don't make a mistake. And boom, we are in warp and out of there before a stiletto, one of the fastest locking ships in the game, can target me. 
considering that some of the wrecks on that gate were even shuttles. I think we've just proven that a two second align time is safe, unless the enemy has smart bombs or warp interdiction spheres, aka bubbles. When you fit your ship for fast align time, you are countering fast tackle. If somebody else decides to use bubbles or smart bombs, they are countering you. It's like rock, paper, scissors. But now let's get back to Eve Echoes. That's what you're curious about, right? So here I have the same ship, NMR Executioner, and I open up the fitting window and I go to navigation because I'm wondering what I'll have to equip to get it a sub two second align time. But I ended up finding out once I did the math in Eve Echoes, the Executioner already has a sub two second align time. Now Eve Echoes is only a month old, whereas Eve Online is like 17 years old. So sorry, it doesn't have everything that EVE Online has already. Deal with it. We have to do the math the old-fashioned way. So I have Notepad open to show you the equation for figuring out a line time. I've never had to do math this complicated before. Not even in college. Never had to use a logarithm or whatever LN is. But Google tells me that that's the number for LN, so I don't actually have to have an LN button on the calculator. I'm typing in the numbers from the fitting window to show you, and then I'm using a calculator off screen, but once I get the answer, I will show you the answer as well. Any moms and dads out there, get your kid to play Echoes. They'll have to do so much complicated math, and they'll never even think about it being math. Then they'll get so smart, you'll be so proud of them. All thanks to Echoes. Thank you, Eve Echoes. Thank you, Eve Online. Anyways. So we have to take that LN2 number, which I show you in the notepad, multiply that by our inertia modifier, multiply that by the mass of the ship, and then we divide by 500,000. And there we go, it is already sub two seconds. And I know that this is different from EVE Online because I just showed you in EVE Online. So I'm curious what the differences are. Because we have different skills in this game, it could be that there were bonuses applied from skills that are not in EVE Echoes. It's possible that they tuned the ships differently. Nobody knows. But since this ship already has a sub two second align time, the only thing we've proven is that you would have been very smart to listen to me when I told you to stick to frigs and destroyers. So let's try a different ship. Here we have the Imicus, a popular choice for beginners to space trucking. We see that the mass is actually lower than the Executioner, but the inertia modifier is much higher. Keep in mind that there are skills that affect these numbers as well. So if your numbers look different from mine, it's probably because we have different skills. Let us swap out these numbers in our notepad and try it again. Yay, it's higher than two. So if the common wisdom from EVE Online is also true for EVE Echoes, it would not be safe to take a stock fit Imicus autopiloting through Nullsec. But let's see what we can change by changing the mods. This is one of the same mods I was using in EVE Online, an inertial stabilizer. I did not see the other mod I used in EVE Online, a nanofiber internal structure, so I just used two inertial stabilizers instead. Remember that rigs are an option, I show those later too. You can also see this did not change our mass, this only changed our inertia modifier. Let's see if that was enough. And there you go, assuming my math is right, and my math could be wrong, or the equation could be different in Eve Echoes. It looks like we have a sub two second align time. 
I still advise you not to AFK, because if a bug were to happen, you won't have any information about that bug. Just like when you make an insurance claim in real life, the insurance company wants to know what happened. And just like when you make a reimbursement request in this game, they're going to want to know what happened. And I was AFK and I thought I'd be safe is not a sufficient reason for you to get your ship back. Alright, so I'm showing you two of the more popular rigs in the navigation section. Now these first ones, auxiliary thrusters, these do not help your align time. At least, to my knowledge, these do not help your align time. However, the polycarbon engine housing does help your align time. You see that it lowers your inertia modifier, and if you remember from the first two ships that I showed you, the executioner had a much lower inertia modifier and had a much faster align time. But the auxiliary thrusters only increase your maximum velocity. This would help you for kiting, and I think that's probably why they're so popular. But this does not help your align time. So if you were making a ship only to travel safely, the only rigs you would be interested in would be polycarbon engine housing to improve your align time, or warp core stabilization rigs to prevent warp core disruption. And these mods are also right next to each other, the inertia stabilizers and the warp core stabilizers. Just one more thing before this video is done, I want to introduce you to the concept of travel fits and combat fits. The idea would be, you could use something like this fit I have now, with two inertia stabilizers and travel rigs, in order to get to a place where you plan to do sites. Afterwards, you would dock in a station, and you would change your mods for your combat fit to actually run the site. Then, after you ran as many sites as you were going to run, you would dock in a station again, switch back to your travel fit, put your loot in your ship, and go back home. One disclaimer slash warning, rigs must be destroyed. You can't just swap rigs back and forth. So you should min-max your fit accordingly. Only use rigs if you absolutely need to. And if you think you have to switch rigs back and forth, remember to bring spares in your cargo hold, because every time you switch your fit from travel to combat, you will have to destroy your old rigs. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. This has been the Eve Echo Chamber. Fly safe.